As a child of God, you are blessed already by the Lord, so you cannot be cursed. The Bible in Ephesians 1-3 says that you are blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You are also a seed of Abraham, and no divination or enchantment against Jacob will stand. You are far above all curses, sorcery and bewitchments. The devil oppresses believers that do not know their place in Christ with curses, enchantments and divinations. This is the foremost reason you must take your stand in Christ by knowing and enforcing who you are. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing through the bone and marrow, and discerning the intent of the heart. The word of God is a weapon you must use to overcome the strategies of the devil and his cohorts against you. We will be using the word effectively to cancel all the curses, enchantments, and bewitchments of the wicked ones against you and your loved ones. Let us pray together in faith. Father, we thank you for making us more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for delivering us from the curse of the law and every other form of curses. By the power in the name of Jesus, I use the blood of Jesus to wipe off all the curses and enchantments that are at work in your lineage in Jesus' name. I cancel all the curses that were pronounced against anyone listening to the sound of my voice. The word of God in Genesis 12:3 says that God will bless those that bless us and curse those that curse us. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all those that have cursed you for no reason are cursed by God. Isaiah 54:17 says no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you, you shall condemn. By the power in the name of Jesus, I condemn all the evil tongues that have made enchantments and divinations against you in Jesus' name. I frustrate all the agenda of the evil ones against you in the name of Jesus. You are redeemed and justified by the blood of Jesus. Therefore no curse or enchantment can work against you in the name of Jesus. The Bible in Matthew 16:19 says we have been given the keys of the kingdom. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. In the name of Jesus, I shut all the mouth of the wicked ones that are assigned to make evil pronouncements against you. And I also put into null and void the enchantments, divinations and sorcery of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 26 2 says like a sparrow in its flitting, and like a swallow in its flying, a curse that is without a cause shall not alight. Any curse that has been pronounced by the wicked ones against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. I nullify all the curses and enchantments of the wicked ones that are at work in your lineage. I hereby decree that you will not suffer from stagnation due to curses in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that whoever the Son of Man has set free has been made free indeed. I therefore free any of your loved ones that has been bewitched and enchanted in the name of Jesus. You will no longer experience labor loss due to curses in Jesus' name. You bear upon your head the mark of Christ. Therefore no bewitchments, curses and enchantments can rest on you in Jesus' name. I release the host of heaven to fight against all the forces of darkness that have been assigned to make evil declarations against you. The word of God in Galatians 3.13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He was made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is anyone that hangs on the tree. Since Jesus Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law over 2,000 years ago, and the curse of the law is above every other curse, I therefore decree that you are no longer under any form of curses or enchantments in Jesus' name. Romans 8 2 says that the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made you free from the law of sin and death. I pray for you that you walk in the freedom that Jesus has given you against the law of sin and death. You are no longer bounded by any curse in Jesus' name. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Since you are new man in Jesus Christ, all curses, enchantments, and divination that is very much alive in your lineage will no longer hold water in your life in the name of Jesus. The mercies of God will exempt you and your loved ones from every curse, enchantment, and bewitchment in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a spiritual warfare weapon that is capable of destroying all the devices of the enemies and making the enemies incapacitated. 
Engage the potency in the blood of Jesus today. The Word of God says in Jeremiah 33:3 that you should call upon Him in times of trouble. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you don't know of. We will be praying together that the Lord will protect us from the traps and schemes of the wicked ones. Let us pray together in faith. Father, I thank you for the victory you gave to me via your blood, which was made available for me on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, for making me always triumph over the devil and his agents any time I engage the name and blood of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the blood of Jesus shields me from every attack of the enemies and makes me untouchable. I decree and declare that the blood of Jesus protects me from all demonic oppression. The Word of God says that the angel of death saw the blood of lambs and bulls on the doorpost of the children of Israel in Egypt, and they passed over. Right now I operate in a better covenant, which is the blood of Jesus that speaks a better thing than the blood of bulls and lambs. According to the Word of God in Deuteronomy 31 6 which says, Be strong and be courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. I decree that I will not be afraid of the wicked. I decree that the angel of death passes over me and all members of my family this year in Jesus' name. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I decree that the blood of Jesus erase every mark of the devil on any part of my body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the blood of Jesus redeems me from every generational curse and pattern that is impeding my progress in life. In the name of Jesus, I nullify the plans of the enemies against my life by the blood of Jesus. I decree that I am free indeed because Christ has made me free and I am not a slave to fear. The blood of Jesus heals and makes whole completely. I decree that all hidden sicknesses in my life be removed completely in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus always cover my going out and my coming in throughout this year. The word of God says that we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. I decree that I totally triumph over the devil and his agents in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus always makes a way of escape for me out of the devil's devices and plans. The blood of Jesus is at my disposal. I utilize it to the shame of the devil. I decree that the blood of Jesus saves me and my family always from every accident and destruction. In the name of Jesus I hide under the secret place of the Most High, and I am not vulnerable to the devil and his agents' attack. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I cancel every plan of the enemies to frustrate all my efforts. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I am exempted from all plans and attacks of the enemies. I hide myself and my family in the blood of Jesus from all snares of the devil and his cohort. I decree that I am never ashamed of using the name of Jesus when it matters most. The word of God and the blood of Jesus are my defense and my weapons of offense. I am shielded by the blood of Jesus against all forms of attack. The enemies send my way to make me confused and frustrated in life. I decree that all the gathering of the evil ones against my progress be scattered as I mention the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus my family and I are totally protected from the arrows the enemy will shoot at us. The word of God says that anyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I decree that my family and I hide under the secret place of the Most High, and we are safe and sound. I decree that I find solace in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus gives me strength and vitalizes me when I am weak and tired. Proverbs 4 6 says you should not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. By reason of the word of God, I pray that the wisdom of God will protect me, and as I love her, she will watch over me in Jesus' name. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive freedom and deliverance from all oppression of the enemies. I decree that the blood of Jesus runs through my body and purges everything that is not of God in my life. In the name of Jesus I nullify every negative statement I might have said to myself in the past that are working contrary to God's will for my life. I decree that I work in the victory Christ has made available for me, and I am slack about it in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says that if God does not watch over a city, 
The watchman watches, but in vain. God is the only one that can watch over you day and night, and you are assured of safety, security and peace of mind. When you go out, you should be rest assured that you are being watched over by God, because you are the apple of God's eyes. He will neither sleep nor slumber when it comes to protecting you. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will keep you safe and secured from the evil ones. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I pray for you that you will be protected by the Lord in dangerous places in Jesus' name. The Word of God says in 2 Thessalonians 3 3, But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. By the power in the word of God, I pray that the Lord will establish and guard you against the evil one in Jesus' name. Psalm 46 One says God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I decree over you today that the Lord will always be your refuge and strength, and you will be helped by the Lord in Jesus' name. I pray for you that your going out and coming is blessed in the name of Jesus. You will not fear, for God is with you. You will be strengthened and God will help you and uphold you with his right hand in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Psalm 34 7 that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and deliver them. According to the word of God, I pray that you are always protected by the angel of the Lord and you will be delivered from trouble by the angel of the Lord in Jesus' name. God will always be your hiding place and he will preserve you from trouble. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will be surrounded with shouts of deliverance in Jesus' name. The word of God in Proverbs 2.11 says discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you. According to the word of God, I pray that you will be protected by discretion, and you will be guarded by understanding the word of God in Jesus' name. I stand upon the word of God, and I decree that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper and I judge any tongue that rises against you in judgment in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will always take refuge in God, and as you do this, you will be glad. I also pray for you that the Lord will spread his protection over you and all your loved ones. You will be answered by the Lord when you are distressed. God will protect you from the teeth of the evil ones in Jesus' name. Since you are the apple of God's eye, God will keep you and he will hide you in the shadow of his wings from the wicked who are out to destroy you in Jesus' name. The Lord will be your shepherd and you will not fear. Even if you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because God is with you. I decree by the word of God over you that the Lord will rescue you from evil attack and will bring you safely into his heavenly kingdom in Jesus' name. You will always hide in the name of the Lord because it is a strong tower and as you do that, you will find safety and security in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 18.10 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runs into it and is safe. The devil's primary assignment is to steal, kill, and destroy but you can be in the pavilion of the highest and find safety. The Bible also says in Psalm 91, 1 that he that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of God is your best hiding place, and you will find solace and safety there. I declare over you that you will find safety in his name and Jesus' name. I urge you to receive these declarations with faith. The word of God says in 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 3 to 5 that God is faithful. He will establish and guard you against the evil one. I pray for you that God will establish you in his word and also protect you from the powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus, even though you pass through the waters, God will always be with you in your trying moments. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will never fall into the traps of the enemies. I pray for you that you are strong and of good courage. You are not fearful for God is with you. The word of God in Psalm 46. One says that God is our refuge and strength and very present help in times of trouble. I pray for you that the Lord is your refuge and strength 
and he will always be your present help in times of trouble. I decree that a thousand will fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes will you see the reward of the wicked in the land of the living. I decree over you that discretion will preserve you and understanding will keep you from the evil ones in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit. I decree that the blood of Jesus will secure your system from external invasion. I decree no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. I pray for you that the Lord cover you under his wings and under his secret place. You shall trust in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are protected against the wiles of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are shielded in times of danger. You will not be hit by the arrows of the evil ones which are fired against you. I decree that you will be protected by the armor of God. You will never be susceptible to the devil's attacks. I declare over you that the wisdom of God preserves and keeps you. I pray that God carries you in his hands all the days of your life, and you will never leave his grasp. I decree over you in the name of Jesus that all the members of your household hide under the shadow of the Almighty. I decree that they will not be preyed on by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will learn how to put the word of God into action to make you always victorious against the powers of darkness. I decree that you and members of your household will remain in the will of God, and nothing will ever make you stray outside the will of God for you by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you fear not because God is with you. I pray that God goes with you to fight for you against your enemies in the name of Jesus. God is for you. Therefore no one is against you. I pray for you that God is your helper and you don't fear what man can do to you. In the name of Jesus, I scatter all the associations of demons that are plotting to cause you an accident. I decree that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil, for God is with you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the arrow that flies by day will never hit you in Jesus' name. We stay in God's presence, and nothing takes you from his presence in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray that the Lord is good to you and he is your stronghold in the day of trouble. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will preserve you from evil work and preserve you for his kingdom. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that God is your hiding place. God shall preserve you from trouble. God will surround you with songs of deliverance. You are the apple of God's eye. Therefore, you will not be harmed by the evil ones. God hides you under the shadow of his mighty wings and he will protect you from the wicked ones who oppress you. I declare over you that your eyes are fixed on God, and your help and supply will always come from him in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never be caught unaware by the attacks of the devil and his cohorts. One of the weapons that is among your armor is the word of God, which is the sword of the Spirit. I decree that the word of God will be prioritized by you, and the word will be sweet in your belly in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will stay committed to ensuring that the armor which God has given to you doesn't get rusted due to improper usage. I decree that you are strong and protected in God's love. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that you will be discerning to know when and how to use the armor that you have been given by God. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will walk much more in the righteousness that you have been freely given to you when you surrendered your life to Christ. The breastplate of righteousness will guard your heart against every thought the enemy will send to you. Salvation in the Hebrew word means zazo which stands for prosperity, healing and deliverance. I decree that you are prosperous, healed in all facets of life, and you are delivered from the attacks of the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will always wear the belt of truth. You will be willing to learn and implement the truth that is in the word of God. I decree that your faith will remain absolute and nothing will shake it in the name of Jesus. I also decree that your faith will protect you from the fiery darts of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, 
I decree that you will war against the devil and his cohort without being scared, because you know you are more than a conqueror in Christ. I decree that the word of God will increase your sensitivity. You will be aware and conscious when the devil and his agents want to attack you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will never be hit by the stray bullet of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Holy Spirit will teach you how to maximize and utilize the armor that he has made available for you. I am here to assure you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The enemies might come against you and your family in one way, but they will flee before you in seven ways. Do not be afraid of the plots of the evil ones, because all their plots will fall to the ground. No matter how they might strategize, be rest assured that their plans will fail them. The Bible in Exodus 14.14 14 says that God will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. The Lord with your cooperation is willing and ready to fight against all the wicked ones that are ganged up against you. We will be praying against the attacks of the evil ones this instant, and I need your cooperation for these prayers to be effective. In the name of Jesus, I send confusion into the camp of the enemies that are gathered to attack you and your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the wicked ones that come against you in one way will flee before you in seven ways in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28, 7 that the Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They will come against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways. I pray for you that the Lord will cause all the enemies that are gathered against you to be defeated right before your eyes in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Joshua 10:19 that you should pursue and attack all your enemies from the rear, for the Lord has given them into your hands. I decree over you that you have received the strength to pursue, overtake, and attack all your enemies because God has handed them over into your hands. Psalm 35 One says that the Lord will contend with those that contend with you. He will take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for your help. I hereby call on the help of the host of heaven to fight against all enemies that are gathered against you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is on your side. Therefore you and your family are safe and secured from the attacks of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Jeremiah 1:19 that the wicked ones will fight against you, but they will not overcome you, for God is with you to deliver you. I decree and declare that all the wicked ones that are attacking your family will not succeed because the Lord is with you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. I pray for you that you and members of your family will always be hidden in the strong tower of the Lord. And as you hide there, you are all safe from the attacks of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. Psalm 27.3 says that even though a host encamps against you, you will not fear. Though war rises against you, you will still be confident. I decree that no matter how many they are that are gathered against you, you will not be afraid because he that is for you is far greater than they that are against you. The Lord will strike all the wicked ones that are plotting against you with blindness in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you and all members of your family will continually put on the whole armor of God, and this will help you to be able to withstand the wiles of the enemies. The Lord will arise and scatter all the enemies that are gathered to attack your family in the name of Jesus. I release the wrath and judgment of God upon the wicked ones that are plotting your hurt in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 68:21 that God will surely shatter the heads of your enemies. I pray for you that the Lord will begin to shatter all the heads of your enemies round about you in Jesus' name. The Word of God says in Psalm 143 2 that in God's love and kindness, He will cut off all your enemies and destroy those who afflict your soul. I decree over you that the Lord will destroy all your enemies that have sworn not to eat or drink until they see your downfall in Jesus' name. The Lord will help you and all members of your family to jump over the traps the enemies have set for you. You will not be afraid of the devices of the enemies in Jesus' name. I pray for you, that you will know the plans of the wicked ones to attack you and your family, and that you receive the wisdom to thwart their plans in the mighty and matchless of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, I encourage you with the love of God to please like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you richly.